Welcome to Evaluating a Website, an instructional video on reading comprehension brought to you by the Excelsior College Online Writing Lab. There's lots of information available on the internet, but how do you know which information is reliable? Not all websites are the same. Some are more trustworthy than others. Before you decide to trust the information you find on a website, you should evaluate it for accuracy and reliability first. In this video, I'll go over two ways to evaluate a website. One way is to know what type of website you found. I'll list the most common types of websites and describe what they do. Another way to evaluate websites is by applying a set of 10 questions to judge the accuracy and reliability of the site. Let's get started. There are different types of websites. I'll go over eight of the most common types so that you have a better idea of what they do and which one is right for you. I'll give you a description and example for each one, plus the typical domain each one has. The domain is indicated by the letters after the period at the end of the website address. Okay, let's go over the list. The first type is government websites. These websites are maintained by government agencies to provide information or services to the public. Their typical domain is .gov. An example is www.whitehouse.gov. The next type is education websites. These websites represent public or private institutions that provide educational services, such as schools and universities. Their typical domain is .edu. An example is www.excelsior.edu. Another type of website is an organization website. These websites represent groups with a specific mission, cause, or agenda. They include advocacy groups, philanthropic organizations, and political parties. Their typical domain is .org or .com. An example is www.aclu.org. Some websites are informational. These websites provide information such as facts, statistics, data, research studies, and collections. These websites may include online encyclopedias, research databases, and archives. Typical domains can include .edu, .gov, .org, .com, and .info. An example is www.gutenberg.org, which is a free online archive of ebooks. Other websites focus on providing news. They provide information about local, national, and or international current events. Typical domains include .org, .com, or .info. One example is www.nytimes.com. Many websites fall in the category of social media. These websites allow users to network, collaborate, or share information. Their typical domain is .com. One example is www.facebook.com. Then there are personal websites. These websites promote a specific person or their ideas. These include online resumes and blogs. Their typical domain is .com. An example of a personal website is Bill Gates' blog, which you can find at www.gatesnotes.com. Finally, there are also many commercial websites. These websites promote goods and services such as online retail outlets and company homepages. Typical domains include .com, .biz, and .info. An example is www.amazon.com. There are other types of websites and many more subcategories of websites. Visit this Wikipedia article for a more complete list of website types. Knowing the type of website will give you a better idea of whether the information it offers is right for you. However, you should also apply these 10 questions to determine whether the information is trustworthy and reliable. 1. 
Is the website trying to sell or promote a particular product or service? If yes, keep in mind that the information provided on the website may be skewed to help make the sale. 2. Is the website affiliated with an organization, group, or political party that has a particular point of view, ideology, or agenda? If yes, be aware of what their point of view, ideology, or agenda is and how it may bias the information provided on the website. 3. Does the website provide the author's name and credentials? Anonymity can encourage authors to make unsubstantiated or inflammatory claims. 4. Does the website have an editor or editorial board? If so, does it provide the editor's names and credentials? Information that is moderated by an editor or editorial board may be more reliable. 5. Does the website provide contact information for the author and or editor? The availability of contact information for the author and or editor demonstrates greater responsibility for the information being shared. 6. Is the material on the website 